Hey, welcome to Let's Look at Lam, in which I open a Japanese fashion magazine, which I can't read, and we just look at some of the pretty pictures together. So I have bought what I believe is the latest issue of Lam. This is um, Lam 48 Spring 2021, so I would presume being March 2021. <laughs> This is the latest issue. I know they did go on a break because of COVID, so I'm very excited to see what the trends, what the looks are. I'm very sad you can't see my eyeshadow today. I've got like a really cute colour story going on. Um, I was using the Makeup Revolution Princess and the Frog like collaboration collection. It's definitely not designed for me, but it is so cute and I'm very glad that I've managed to work some of the colours in with myself. So here is Lam. Let us open it. I got this on eBay. Here we have the front cover of Lam. It's super pretty. <laughs> Um, so a big thing of Lam is like Lam, it comes from the French for tears, I believe, so everyone looks sad. It's sad time. Also, I promise I haven't done anything too weird with my eyebrows, these are just how they grow. You just, they're just there because I'm trying the wispy bangs, which is a feature. <laughs> right. Okay, we open up to... Bite my peach. Thank you for coming. <laughs> um, Lam is just like this. It's it's a photo book for adults, not not for uh, tweens and teens. It's just for for grown grown ladies. <laughs> so we've got this really cute photo shoot. I'm very appreciative of the big trunky headband. We've got some wispy bangs. It's it's what you'd expect. And then this cute little dress and um, go-go boots, I guess. Um, I'm going to see what brands these are from. The brand is Bite My Peach. In incredible, impeccable, 10 out of 10. I'm going to have to follow them on Instagram. Um, some more looks from Bite My Peach. <laughs> This is not going to uh, stop him using me. I love this! My hair goes like this when I tie it up sometimes. I'm very into this. It's not... It's um, not something I will be buying, but I'm very into it. Um, we've got this really cute dress as well. There's a lot of pencil skirts this season. This is normal for Lama. I don't know why I'm saying this season like it's a new thing. I will try and get some close-ups of things later, <laughs> but I am not able to read this. Um, we've got some beauty. Very pretty, very nice. Oh, the slap! So, I, I don't know. These, there's an ad, there's um. Information about a hairdresser called Nana Hosoya. I'm hoping that I'm saying that right. Um, and a lot of, like, a lot more fashion. And it's definitely the, like, cute, romantic, girly vibe of Lam that I love and remember from when it first became a thing. And I love this. I love this so much. I'm very into these pearl headbands at the moment. I have a few myself, so I'm actually kind of wearing one. It's not the same, but it's similar. We love being on trend by accident. Oh, we have another page of makeup and this these floral lacy tights seem to be featuring quite a bit in this issue. And more makeup and more clothes. This is going to be the whole thing because I can't read Japanese. It's talking about like different trends from what I can gather. Um, seems to be like, yeah, just put on some like orangey coral lipstick and orangey coral eyeshadow. Can do that, I can do that. <laughs> um, I feel a bit like, bad for laughing, but what is going on 
here, why has she got a clear bunny mask? You can't really see the ears that well, but <laughs> she's contained. <laughs> um, seems to be some... I'm not entirely sure what that is. Oh, we're okay, so, um, this, <laughs> advertised here, is a plant-based cannab cannabinoids, cannabinoids, it's made from cannabis, plant-based cannabinoids, hemp extract, mint chocolate dietary supplement. Thank you, Lom. I like how it's fashion and lifestyle and food, and just whatever we feel like putting into it. This is cute. This seems to be from a brand called And Lottie. I'm finding out a lot of brands I'd never heard of today. Oh, hello. Oh, it's Mew Mew. Of course it is. So we've got some more spreads. I feel like every page is going to be pretty similar because I can't read. These are cute. I love the like corset belt. I wonder where that's from. I'm going to see if I can work it out. There's a lot of um there's a lot of it's what I would exactly expect from Lom. So this is actually the first copy I've ever bought myself. I normally read like snippets of scans online. Um Oh it's a Mr. Corset corset. That makes so much sense. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice, it's nice to see Mr. Corset outside of a Lolita and golf context, though. Um, yeah, these Mew Mew shoes are what instantly caught my attention. I think they're very cute. Also, apologies about my nails. I had not realised quite how bruised they were. Um, I went... did I go backwards? Yeah, boy, I went backwards, but I discovered things I'd missed. <laughs> It's okay, we're gonna just keep going. Uh, more photo shoots. I'm enjoying that these wide-legged pants seem to be in. I've seen them a couple of times already. And there's some more. I love it when they do these spreads. I think they're so fun. I love the like circle of <laughs> circle of girls. I think it's such a cute way of showing off your products. But yeah, this seems to be like they've sort of really stuck with the direction that I was used to from them. Which is nice, I do, I do, if I remember, Lam has changed owners as a magazine, so... Yulana Uchi, pure white girl, everyone falls in love because she is adorable. You are in fact correct. Once again, I can't read the brands, so I cannot tell you where this is from. Um... I feel like a lot of these are like looking at like models collections, so this says Yulano's collection. So it's like the clothing the models own. These photo shoots are really fun. I cannot work out where they're meant to be, but they're really fun. We've got some makeup like pages, tutorial things. more looks. I'm gonna just flick through and see if there's anything that like really piques my attention. <laughs> like unexpected, cute, fun, that's the vibe I'm gonna go for and I'm gonna just sit here and we can look like this so you can get a glimpse of it. Oh is this a baking tutorial? Oh my gosh there's a, there's a recipe in here. I might have to send this to um, Paulina, Cupcake Kamasama, and be like hey you want you want a recipe from Lom? <laughs> that would be fun, I think. There's a lot of cute like A-line dresses and pencil dresses. This is one I'm picking up. A-line and pencil. She's got a pig. <laughs> She's got a whole pig. Yes. Everything slaps. Ah, big collars, big collars. I'm really into these big collars. I say wearing a tiny collar. I'm into big collars. Neo YG street style. Noah Tokyo girl street style. These are cute looks. 
Lom's really interesting because like the Lom K fashion style isn't really like such a thing. It's just like girly trendy clothes. But people outside of Japan were like, I like that. I'm gonna put a name on it. I'm gonna name it after the magazine, which is understandable. I, I would do that too. But also when you like, if you translate both words to a point, you just get like tear type, which is greatly amusing. Um, this is to be like a, <laughs> yeah, this is like what's in my bag. <laughs> That's fun. Um, there's, every, everyone's carrying around them high-end brands and nice water bottles and skincare, keeping skincare with you? Is that a thing? Is that a thing people do? I, I cannot imagine having to apply my skincare routine. <laughs> so this this spread says, girls are fun, special day. And then on the other page, melty sugar, girls like me. And it's really cute. But also like, is this what greets you when you get into fashion heaven? Are you just like greeted by a line of models like, hey. They're all really cute. And I'm loving the outfits. I'm loving the knee-high boots. There's definitely like a mix of like, so trends I've been seeing going on like this with like the oversized hoodie and the knee-high boots, but then things I would expect more in Lam, like this kind of dress shape and these like platforms and socks. There's definitely like quite a mix. Is she in tracksuit bottoms? She's in tracksuit bottoms and chunky feelers, but like a really cute top. I would have never thought of doing that. There's some really cute look. Oh, this skirt, which is really hard to pick up on camera. It's like a nice solid base layer and then like a lacy top layer with like, like a scallop almost and like rings. Very cute. We're going to just keep going because <laughs> there's a lot of magazine. <laughs> you can quite a lot for your 800 yen. A lot of pictures, which is why I'm fortunate. Are these more of the models? I think these are more of the models from the previous pages. Oh, we've got some workout routines. Um, interesting po picture on the other page where she's like, hmm, handcuffs. But yeah, this is like diet and fitness on this page. And I guess since it's a magazine for young adult women, that is the kind of things that we get. I don't actually read magazines in English. I just buy old Gothic and Lolita Bibles and Lam and stare at the pictures. <laughs> I don't know what goes in women's magazines. Oh, we've got more. What is this? This is, we've got some facial exercises. How to like, I can't remember the name of it, but like drain your sinuses where you like, go like that and then like work it down and like you do it on the other side. I do not know, but there seems to be like exercises for doing that. And then this looks completely heterosexual. Oh, we've got even more exercise. This seems to be like a fitness issue. <laughs> even more. <laughs> um, something about pinching your skin while you're in a bath. Um, I like this picture where she's just like, mm, microscope. <laughs> it seems to be advertising something as well. There's a price underneath it, 4,620 yen. What are you advertising? Lam body size. Hmm. Maybe I'm glad I can't read this. <laughs> Is this how, what size you need to be? How you need to look for being a model? I'm, I mean, I'm not going to share this unless you buy the magazine. But yeah, I'm never going to be that short. Um, she is 156 centimeters tall. I am like 172. It's not going to happen anytime soon. Although, is that including the fact that she's wearing platforms? She's in like silk shorts and a silk top and in platforms. I, I don't think I've ever seen a Western magazine be like, and these are all the lengths of every part of this model's anatomy. I don't understand the, the leg measurements, but I'll translate that later. I'm just a bit confused. It's okay. It's okay to be confused. Oh, and we have some um, we have some lingerie. We, we've hit the lingerie section to keep this PG thirteen and allow it on YouTube. I'm not going to show you the lingerie pages. There are several of them. Some really cute stuff though. Um, we'll try and work out what brands are from. 
Once again, the brand names are in Japanese. I see R and E. If anyone desperately wants to know lingerie brands in Japan, I'll whack it through Google Translate and we can give it a go. Oh, this is cool. There's um, a bit about how to properly fit yourself for a bra. Um, let me. I'm trying to avoid showing actual boobage. So there's how to like fit yourself into a bra. That's useful information. Thank you, Lon. It's just, um, oh, and we've got more, this is like a mini, a mini magazine in the middle of it. I think this is like a hair and makeup special. Yeah, there's more hair and makeup. And more hair and makeup. Um, I do like the long hair trends, like the, um, the way they show them because they do them for different hair lengths. Like this is cute, bubble braids for short hair, for short, well not short hair but like my length hair. Which is nice, because you never see that. I have never seen anyone with my length hair wearing bubble braids. Oh there's some really cute tutorials. Um, <laughs> I don't quite know what's going on here but it's definitely a mood. And more cute clothes. I really vibe with this. And I really, really vibe with this. I don't know what my voice is doing. That's so cute. Point. It just says like level up. They seem to have gone for like a loose video game theme. There's something about Twitter. This, this page has Twitter. And then this is Instagram. <laughs> it took me a minute to read. I wonder if they're just talking about how to improve your... I think I think there's a bit about how to improve your social networking s service status. Because I did see SNS, which I know they use for the social networking. Oh, like there's one about YouTube. Maybe I need to read that one. <laughs> Does YouTube say you need to talk about LAM magazine? Because the Instagram one definitely said you need to follow LAM. I can't read it, but I can see the implications. <laughs> um... Oh, this is, oh yeah, yeah, it's got like a, a how to film YouTube videos bit at the bottom. And I feel like I'm breaking the rules here of what Lam is telling me for YouTube. Although I did actually almost do their makeup today. That's quite impressive considering I hadn't opened the magazine. Like, I definitely went for that lip look. And not like you can tell with my glasses and my hooded eyelids, but I went for a similar colour scheme for eyeshadow. They have a guide to TikTok and live streaming as well. This is fun. Wasn't expecting all of this in here, to be honest. And then what's this one? There seems to be some Uncanny Valley level of like morphing. I don't really know what's going on here. Um, girls create a file. This is what's coming up next. We're just gonna open it sideways again. Girls creator. A pincio mimi curitasio. I'm struggling to read. There seems to be just like different people who work in different shops. Oh, that's a very cute dreamy vibe. I like the like romantic dreamy vibe where it's like beige and like dusty paints. It's not something I could do for myself, as we can probably tell by the fact that I'm a master of chaos. Girly face technique. Coquettish. Vintage. <laughs> oh no! It's fine, we're getting towards the end now. I say this. This is oddly heavy. Oh, these are cute. Girl power 24 hours. This is such a cute photo shoot. I vibe. I want those aprons. There's someone here with pink hair. I think this is, yeah, this seems to be like a, a day in the life of, for these girls. So we've got 6am, some of them are already awake doing their hair and makeup, 9am, some of them are eating breakfast. Pink, pink hair friend is still asleep, I appreciate her. Then we get to 12, everyone's awake now, doing lunch, someone's gaming, someone's vacuuming, laundry, drinking a glass of water. 3 p.m. Uh, time to sniff flowers, I suppose. Someone's doing their makeup again. I guess they're touching it up. 
6 p.m. Looks like everyone's busy. Someone is washing their feet. I'm gonna just shake my hand up. Nine PM and midnight? Midnight. Twenty four hundred hours. Mysterious Japan. Is this implying that they're still awake at 3 a.m.? Someone is weighing themselves and someone else is doing laundry at 3 a.m. allegedly. I am normally trying to sleep at 3 a.m. Kirai has a cute page of her. Oh, these, so these are all the girls who we were just so Rin Kurusu is there, um, Minaru Mori, I think. That skirt is interesting. Not sure I'd wear it, but it's it suits her. Toa Kurumi, that's our pink hair friend, who wasn't awake first thing in the morning and I appreciate deeply. And then Miko Tsume. I'm so sorry, I'm absolutely butchering any Japanese pronunciation. But she looks cool. I like her hair. I like how she's like the goth one of the gang. There's a few cute QR codes in my hand to scan. Mea Kagone and Miko Shiratu. It, it's hard because it's in cursive and it's not names I know and I'm really sorry. I need to just stop. Maybe I will just stop. That is fine. Meow! What is this? Is this an idol group? That's so cute! I'm gonna guess this is an idol group. Meow! But they're so cute! Look at them all. I do love how they do photo spreads here with like the backgrounds. Be cute with Stay Home. We cannot escape staying at home. Larton is aware of this and they have done a, a whole two-page spread on how to be cute. Data. No. Yes. <laughs> Reading the few English words I can see. There is even more. And then... Hmm. I am not sure what this is, but it's more of the be cute, stay home stuff. Well, that's not terrifying at all, is it? It says the stranger and it has that. Spooky. We're coming to an end. Um, I feel like this is um, a story. I'm not entirely sure. As I said, I can't read. Yeah, it definitely seems to be like a short story for the magazine. And then we have some adverts okay so <laughs> what i was not expecting at the end so we've got a cute advert for um dog food this is adorable <laughs> and then i turned the page over and was <laughs> i think are they like funding lam are they like mm, we need to get some lolita in here there's been nothing else lolita in here at all not a single jolt but alice and the pirates and baby the stars shine bright <laughs> this is weird have we got no that's literally it and I've got an advert for 10% off something I don't know what it's 10% off but I've got an advert for 10% off and then like an index oh and we've got more we have more um, adverts for Lam Collapse and then um, the last page is um, and Risa Nakamura modelling for Angelic Pretty. <laughs> this does not fit the vibe of the rest of the magazine. I don't know why I'm finding it so funny that like the last two pages are just Lolita brands advertising themselves, but I am. I think it's because it's just such like a jolt. So like you've got like, you know, this kind of vibe and then Angelic Pretty. This kind of vibe. 
Angelic Pretty. <laughs> this kind of vibe. Angelic Pretty. It's just a very different aesthetic at the moment. So yeah, that was my Lum magazine. I think um, it's, there was a few surprises in there for me. As I said, this is the first time I've ever had one. Um, I wonder if, if were there any surprises for you? Um, was this exactly as you expected? As I said, I don't read um, women's magazines in English, let alone women's magazines in Japanese, because I can't read Japanese. I feel like I've said that like 500 times. I'm very sorry. But I hope you enjoyed looking at LAM. And if you want anything badly Google translated by my phone, do let me know in the comments and I will try and do it for you. So I will see you next time.